this one. Okay. Alrighty. There it goes. Apparently they did change my stream key. There we go. Hey. Hello, <laughs> and welcome. Hi. To another edition of Murphy, Murphy Monday. Monday Morning Go. <laughs> yeah, Mario says no sound. So, yeah. I got it. I got it. I'm looking. And apparently nobody got to hear the theme music. <clears throat> or unless it changed around. I don't know. The uh, the software decided to uh, move which which place the uh, actual sound is. We have desktop audio. We've got microphone audio. And they swapped positions. They do that occasionally because because it wants to keep you on your toes. <laughs> so hopefully the sound is coming oh through my now. Goodness. My little sound bar is showing that it's working, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Yeah, this is true. Oh boy, I <laughs> tell you. <laughs> It's already Murphy Monday. It is, it is. We tried to go live on time. I, if you guys hadn't noticed, we're a little late. And uh, everything said, nope, not happening. <laughs> I'm like, we, we, like, we've been doing this. <laughs> we've been doing me. this for how long? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just said, nope, not happening. So I had to go through and reset all kinds of settings and things like that and then try again. And then our microphone then moved. <laughs> it's terrible, man. It, uh, it you have this a lot it. bigger in the in Yes, the I picture. zoomed it and scrolled it down. Oh my. oh my. That way they could see our beautiful faces <laughs> first thing in the morning. <laughs> what do you oh. think? Is it good? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. you're good. You're good. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, so we have a bunch. Um, Mario is saying, oh, we're good gonna... morning, happy Monday. Hey. Good <laughs> to see you. Says, Dave says, Hail Murphy. Pretty much. <laughs> per, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and Kelly says, uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining good us. <laughs> Holy cow. It's already Murphy Monday. Oh. We just started this freak show. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. It, yes. It, oh. And Renee says, good morning from almost Hurricane Utah. Oh, ah, well. <laughs> See, she's up in Hurricane, Utah, to dodge the hurricane. Mm, there you are. <laughs> but it's spelled the same, but pronounced differently, for those of you yeah. that don't know. Yeah, it's... Hurricane. It, it's so weird. It, it really is. It it's drives like, you crazy. I love it. It does. It does. It's, <laughs> it's like Prescott out here. It, it's not Prescott. It's Prescott. <laughs> well, There's is. no I. <laughs> Yeah, but you always have the, you always have the issue with the muggy on rim. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I I just uh, Arizona names, you gotta love them, man. Uh, well, you gotta love it, them. it's not just Arizona names because Hurricane is over in Utah. That's that's not Arizona. Eh, it's close. <laughs> it's close. <enough. laughs> local names, local names. Right, let's go with that. Local names. Uh, Gina's giving a thumbs up, and Renee says exactly. Yeah, I got. <laughs> so yeah, she's up there trying to dodge the hurricane or the hurricane in Hurricane. <laughs> And everyone's like, wait, wait. I, I've had this come across several times. People are like, wait, why is ever Arizona worried about a hurricane? You guys are a landlocked state. Why, yes, we are. <laughs> but the Pacific Ocean is right over that way. <laughs> and the hurricane's this big. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're supposed to be getting some tropical depression slash extreme Weather. low slash lots of rain. <laughs> we're all going to die. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna die. <laughs> Mario says it's been raining all night. Nice. Uh, where he is. Good for you. Yeah, I Yay. looked at the radar and I was like, man, <laughs> it's all down across the southern part. But 
start with, we actually had a, a few little tiny little sprinkles this morning. Uh, yeah. Little little tiny ones. You and can barely notice it, but there's that kind of a wet smell. So you get the humidity and a little bit of the wet smell, but none of the satisfaction of getting washed away. Uh, right, yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> but, but you did try to entice the rain yesterday. I did. I was going to talk about uh, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, so tonight and tomorrow we're supposed to get our section of the rain up here in Page, Arizona. And, uh, you know, it's actually supposed to be a pretty severe, like a quarter inch of rain. And for us, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, just saying. I haven't been here during rain yeah. like that, so. Yeah, no. It's supposed to be a lot of rain. So okay. So be, be aware that it is coming. And I did my part to seal the deal, hopefully. <laughs> I made sure that I washed the car yesterday. <laughs> Because we need the rain. And, and uh, you know, flooding is, is bad for people that are caught in it, but it's really fun to watch the flash floods and things of that nature. And so. we do need the water. Yes, we oh, definitely we need, need the water. We need the water. Um, yeah. and, we'll and Flagstaff is actually preparing um, with, for the floods mm -hmm. in that uh, the county um, out in Flagstaff, um, they have started putting out warnings for sandbags. Yes. Yes, so, well, that one area that keeps getting flooded out. Yes. Um, I can't remember, was it the Scar Fire? Uh, uh, no, it wasn't the Scar. Oh, you're making me think. Uh, yeah, well, that's, ah. that's your job, Lois. I can't do it for you. Was it the, I can't do it for no, myself. It wasn't that one. Uh, th there have been a bit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there have anyway, been a bit. <laughs> there's a section of Flagstaff that is prone to flooding. For those people, get your sandbags in place. It's coming. Yes. Yes, it is. Be prepared. Um, Tammy Claw says, uh, good morning. Love morning. this weather. Good morning. Nice yes. to see you. Here's and yes, it is beautiful weather. I see, you know, the the, the gray sky in, in out of the window right now. Gray skies oh, no. smiling at me. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> but gray skies <laughs> do I see. <laughs> I know that's and, not quite the way the song goes. Right. Enough. And Mario says, I love the smell um, out when it rains. I do too, but... Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Mario, you got a problem here because I happen to know you're down in Phoenix and I do not like the smell of wet concrete in the morning. <laughs> That's all you guys got down in concrete jungle. Oh. I'm just saying. Wet concrete you know, is not as good as wet sand. <laughs> you, know, you know what? In all honesty, I, I've been in areas where it's been foresty. I've been in areas where it's been sandy, obviously. Um, like, and, I've, one. <laughs> and I've been in areas where it's concrete. Out of all three, I don't like the smell before and after a rain in the sand. In the sand? It, it just smells dirty to me. Well, it's because it's it, dirt. Uh, right, well, but sand, it just, but no. it, it, it just, it does not have that. That same odor. It, 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 right. Yeah. It does not I do have like that clean. Forest. Forests are nice. Yes. And but it, concrete jungles are not. <laughs> Save yourself, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do and, you, what? Oh, and Gina says, I would love some good rain. And, uh, uh, oh, no. I am not repeating that one. Uh oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what our city is going to do. Oh, too soon? Mm. Yes, actually, it is, because they still have not decided to do a damn thing. <laughs> but anyway, you know, perhaps this will be that, that, that kick in the butt that they need. Oh, Murray says, I meant when it rains up that way. Oh, all right. I'll <laughs> and give he you says, that. I love your smile. Oh, he likes your smile. Who, what? M Maria says, I love your smile. No. <laughs> I think he's talking to you, Lois. <laughs> Everybody loves your smile. And everyone oh, loves your intoxicating cackle. My cackle. I mean, laugh. <laughs> <clears throat> We've had several comments on that. Yes, before. we have. We have. <laughs> they can hear you from a block away. It, yes. Because yes. it's coming. My dad doesn't like it, though. It doesn't like it F. Mm -mm. I, I, I enjoy it except for first thing in the morning and while I'm drinking my coffee and during the morning show. Well, it, it's, yeah, that's because you're still waking up. <laughs> I know. And my ears start ringing and I'm like, ah, oh, make it stop. <laughs> yeah, my dad doesn't like it because, um, and it's a running joke in our family. Um, he says, he, you know, he wants his child support back because he could swear I'm his brother's. Because <laughs> I have the same laugh as his brother. Oh, and uh, okay. I don't have the laugh he does. <laughs> so a little bit of creepy genetics going on there. Yeah, huh? so it's a running joke. It's not true, but... It it is a it is a funny haha. -ha. So okay, hey. yeah, I my my laugh reminds him of his brother. That's um, cute. It is it is. <laughs> so um, a bunch of us in the family have just run with that. <laughs> nice. 
Well, back to the rain thing, guys. We do have a hurricane coming through. Be safe out there. If yes. it's flooded, don't drive through it. Right. Oh, Definitely. It happens so much. that That's the number one cause of preventable deaths during flooding is when people drive through flooded areas. Yeah. That and, stuff can wash you away. If you don't know what you're doing, stay out of it. And and especially if they have signs, don't ignore the signs. Well, yeah, because if you get washed enter. away, it's on you. It is. We it, have it the is. dumb motorist law, and it's called dumb motorist law for a reason. Yes, it is. Because you're dumb if you do it, so don't. Yeah. Stay but alive. The be I mean, the best way to uh, to figure out whether you should go through or not is if you're going down. Check first. No, <laughs> just stay the hell away from it. How about that? Because if it's swift moving water and you go check, you're going to go with it. Just stay away. <laughs> <clears throat> That's the official recommendation of LPNN. Stay away. <laughs> and Gina says she's told that her laugh sounds like a witch. Well, there you go. <laughs> Perfect month. <laughs> yes. Is it, it, is it October? <laughs> it is. My watch says it's the 31st. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that's good. So I got to fix got it. one of those. <laughs> it's a, it, it, we got to do the little windy thing. Uh, I know. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. So anyway, do your part to uh, get the rain gods out here and dump it on us. Go yes. wash your vehicle. <laughs> if it's yeah. not raining where you are, go wash your car. Yeah. <laughs> go and spend the extra couple of bucks. It's worth it. It is. There will be is. a huge influx of cash in the economy for the car wash places, and we may get dumped on. So let's do this. <laughs> let's do it. Make it a team effort. Get some must, much must needed, much needed water. Yes, definitely. Oh, and by the way, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these videos. And don't forget, you're either part of the network or you're an enemy of the network. Show your loyalty by purchasing LPNN the shirt. <laughs> Although today I'm actually not wearing LPNN the shirt. No, you're not. Because I had to wash it because I wore it for like three days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and we have I have something else on here. Let's see if I can see this here. Look at that. We got Limey's Cycle Service. He is uh he's been kind enough to uh, sponsor a segment in our new show Controversy. We're talking heads. Talk. So uh, that that would be our controversial show, in case you didn't catch it from the title, because, you know, sometimes people are out there and they're like, hey, they're saying controversial things. Well, the name of the show is Controversy, so, yeah, that's the idea. Y yeah, pretty Just much. Say it. <laughs> that was, so that, let's that, see. What do you got? Dave says, bring cash if you do decide to drive through those floods. I'll have my tow rope and chains and only accept cash. Thank you for your stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I'll, uh, you know what? I will donate my uh, my payment app to the cause if I can get a small uh, percentage of that where they can pay with a credit card if they want to be dumb. Just saying. <laughs> and Renee says, Gray Skies and Hurricane 2. Hoping when we get to Nevada it clears. Haven't seen a map. And Lois's laugh is great. Why, thank you, ma'am. Um, and um, I, I don't mean to put a damper on, on the morning show, but today um if you are heading out to uh nevada and um to the vegas area specifically um today is the first anniversary of the massacre oh in the vegas massacre yeah, probably and shouldn't bring that up during the morning show uh, right Lois. but I'm, I'm talking about the traffic and stuff like that because the city is doing a huge memorial and yeah and so in case you didn't know it's probably going to be pretty packed they're doing yeah. a memorial and all of that so renee keep your eyes out be safe out there yes yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, but I, it was sort of a traffic report. Stay safe. It, this is the morning show. I know. Oh. Morning show. Gina says it has rained. Water on my patio. Yeah, yeah. We had a little bit. You had a tiny sprinkles this morning. <laughs> and Dave says deal. <laughs> All right, Dave. All right. All right. Moving on to something a little less somber. Oh, my goodness. Renee says we are wearing the same shirt today, Chris. <laughs> 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 That's epic. <laughs> that here. That here. So, yeah, gotta wash the LPN and the shirt. Once again, show your loyalty to the turtle. <laughs> to the turtle? Yes, LPN and the shirt. <laughs> this is Honorary Rupert, a.k.a. Hank the Tank. <laughs> and uh, he has been, uh, you know, an honorary member of LPN. Yes. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are That's still working one. on the hoodie designs. Um, we, we just got in some artwork. Needs a little bit more tweaking, but we're so close. <laughs> so close. You know who you are. You know who I'm talking to out there. Uh, so oh close. 
<laughs> there's a pretty good one where he's got he's got a, a little Rupert with a reticle on there and a crosshair. Uh, oh, yes, the crosshairs. That's pretty funny. It made me chuckle. <laughs> it's almost like the James Bond one. It is. Yeah, it I is. Like but uh, but I have I have a couple of other ideas. We'll have to see how this goes. <laughs> You guys just need to do like get together one night or one day and just you know brainstorm it out in, <laughs> in either your office or his office and just we'll probably end up having hammer it out at some point. But either way, it's getting oh, it's so close, mm -hmm. so close. David's giving the thumbs up. Good morning, David. Good to see you, David. Thanks for joining us. And thank you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing. I know I keep saying that, but <coughs> but it does really help. And people forget. I mean, I know I forget. Yeah. And I do it all the time. I scroll by something that's like, oh. hey, that's funny, or I like this, and then I don't hit the thumbs up button, and well, well. <laughs> it happens. It does. It, it does. does. It does. But... Make sure you help. hit it here, because you're actually sitting here talking to us. So I see you. I can see who likes my stuff. <laughs> you better push that button. <laughs> oh, yeah, and buy a shirt. <laughs> and buy a shirt. <laughs> Go to Amazon.com and type in LPN in the shirt, or LPN in the premium shirt. What else? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I was just said, oh. Uh, oh, no, I was just watching the likes come across. Awesome, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> so, I've got... I've got some things I want to talk about before we jump into your list there, Loss. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, a few years ago, I decided, you know, because, uh, well, number one, I'm a cheap beepered. Beepered? Beepered. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like beaker, but different. <laughs> So you're a Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not a Scrooge. I just I usually don't have money, and I'm very careful with the money that I do, so that I can actually be able to pay bills and survive. Uh, yes, that's what I do. I'm an okay. expert at this. <laughs> and so a few years ago, I installed a wood stove in my house for the winter times to keep myself warm. That yeah. makes sense. Makes perfect sense to me because wood is cheap and plentiful. Even in the desert, it's usually not too bad because we have the kaibab up there. We've got Flagstaff down there, mm -hmm. and we bring it in. And so I was like, yeah, you know, and, and, I, and I used to go out with my friend, Mr. Matt, and uh, we would go out into the Kaibab, and we would harvest wood and bring it back down, and sometimes we'd end up having to buy some wood to help, you know, fortify the numbers of the wood so that it would last through all the winter. And this year, well, you know, it, about a month ago, I started looking for wood, uh, or as it's known locally, woods. I need some woods. And, uh, well, I'm having a hard time finding said woods and uh, the woods that i am finding are so astronomically expensive that it would be cheaper for me to buy 20 or 30 space heaters and run them continuously throughout the entire winter i'm just saying it, it's crazy out there it you used to be able to get a quart of wood for 100 150 dollars and the cheapest stuff i can find is like two to three hundred dollars for one cord of wood. Blah. <laughs> I mean, I understand inflation, but damn. <laughs> you know, and I'm looking at it like, well, how am I, you know, the whole point was it was cheaper to heat with wood than it was with electric or gas. Yeah. That was the whole idea. I even had for a while a kerosene heater, a really big one that would work. Yeah, you know, I remember and it. I, and I would get... And I would get jet fuel to run it, you know, Jet A, because it's kerosene. And it worked fairly well, and we had the wood stove, and it worked amazing. But that was when wood didn't cost ten times more than electricity. I mean, like I said, that's the whole freaking point. <laughs> it is. And so now I'm, I, I've come down to the thing. It's like, well, do we buy wood? Or do I buy 10 space heaters? I mean, even using every single one of those space heaters to the maximum capacity of a circuit breaker, I'm not going to come anywhere near that because I need, like, uh, you know, I think we... Oh, look, we logged out. Oh, oh, but we're not, so uh, okay. keep it going. Yeah, it did that again. <laughs> yeah, it says reload. I, I see that. <laughs> well, keep an eye on it. Let me know if it yeah, logs us out. we will do. <laughs> I don't know what the... F Facebook... Man. Whoa! I said... F I didn't actually say... <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> so it's supposed to be cheaper to burn wood than it is, you know, than, than to run space heaters. And now it's not. It's not even close. No. It's, it's not. It's, it's, it's astronomical. Yeah. So it makes you go, what? I mean, and it's only going to get more expensive from here. So it takes me 
like four cords of wood. We, you know, we I did this one year to figure out four cords of wood ish to go through the winter and make sure we have plenty of wood. At two hundred and fifty dollars plus a cord, how much does that come to? Too much. As a thousand. <laughs> That is a thousand freaking dollars to heat my house for three or four months. <laughs> I'm just See, saying. And I understand. I understand wanting to be wanting to be paid for your time and oh, effort. Absolutely, and, I have and, no problem and with your that. Fuel, but I mean, we if we had the means. Mm -hmm. Okay, like a trailer. <laughs> Um, well, that in a truck. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm just saying a trailer. We could actually go out of the area mm -hmm. to other areas and have it cheaper. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, so even including just, fuel, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, holy monkey, man! So David says, "I'm washing my shirt at this very moment so I can wear it. Woo! It stunk when it arrived." Yeah, we had that too. It smells kind of like vinegar. Uh -huh. Yeah, very strong vinegary smell. We had to wash it, but it did come out when we washed it. So. Uh, yes, it did. Yeah. It did. Very. And cool. Renee says, "It lies. You're still here." Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah it I'm says that watching. we've been logged out and all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know what the heck is going on with Facebook. But man, we're, you know what? At some point, we're going to have to switch our little butts over to YouTube. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dave. Dave says, <laughs> just got a new chainsaw at the house. Do some splitting of the rounds and get the permits, and you got wood next few trips. Yes, I do. Uh, when I went out with Matt, we would go up there, and I would help him get enough wood for him for the winter. Mm -hmm. And because I helped him, we would go back out and get enough wood for me. And I did, I did cutting. I did splitting. I mean, I'd split. Well, you were there for some uh -huh. of it. For uh, what, you know, a couple of the winners, you know, I'd go out there and I'd spend you know two three days splitting out the four cord of wood. We'd get it stacked and we'd be set. And Dave says he just likes to cut wood. Yeah, I do too. I, you know, <laughs> it's it's fun. I love splitting it. I've got this nice uh, splitter that I bought. Oh man. Uh, oh, oh. Well, splitter. <laughs> it's an axe, but man, that thing is epic. <laughs> You've seen it. I have. And the kids love it? watching the, it too. The Fiskers or it's Fis Fiskers, yeah. Fiskers. Fiskers. Yeah, that thing is epic, man. It's a splitting axe, and that thing's a lot of fun. Oh, a lot of good time. Where? Um, Kelly is saying, Kelly is saying, rain starting in Concho. Burr, cold Whee! too. <laughs> That's awesome. Speaking that of cold, I saw I was looking at what the forecast is supposed to be. Check this out. You're gonna hate life, Lois. No, I'm not. Oh yes, I can you are. Up. Oh, okay. I have my snow okay. boots. Uh, apparently, it's not just Facebook. I, oh. I, I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I think your computer. Oh, oh, it's not letting you because you have a thing over there. All right. Well, I'll just um, cancel. cancel. All right. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. There we hey, go. Hey, yay! Right. <laughs> so I just pulled up. Uh, I just oh, pulled up the of weather for the next ten days. What? Click Lois? prevent from creating additional dialogues. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> and then cancel. All right. Anyway, I just pulled up the uh, the weather that's coming up for the next week, and I'm looking at it, and it's like you guys have to check it out. Um, well, keep an eye on that. I Make am. sure we're still out. It looks like we're we're toast. Oh, maybe no, not. maybe not. I don't know. Facebook has completely had a meltdown, guys. I apologize. Go to YouTube. Apparently, they're the only ones right now that are not having. Uh, I'll let you know if we uh, if we go bye bye. But yeah. anyway, anyway, so back to the thing. I pulled up the weather for the next ten days. Today we have a small chance of rain throughout most of the day, starting a little bit later. We're looking at about 15% of isolated thunderstorms. So it'll be sprinkling on and off apparently. But tomorrow, if you you know, they, they have, it has the percentage chart. Of, yes. It looks like we're all going to die. It does. We, we need like Noah's Ark. And it's calling for a quarter inch of rain, which for us up here, that's a lot of freaking rain, man. It is. That is a lot of rain. And then, uh, let's see, on Wednesday, the percent chance drops down, but still looking for 0.17 inches. And then I'm finally on Thursday, down to 0.02. But going into next week, what are the highs there, Lois, starting on Saturday? On Saturday, 66, then 62, 63, 65, and 65. So it looks like fall is finally upon us. Yeah, for next week. Is the hurricane or the hurricane moves through hurricane. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. We get, we'll get our week of fall next week. <laughs> yeah, we get our week of fall and then we're all going to die. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it, it, that's what's coming up. Uh, we've got we've got lots of rain. The temperature is going to be dropping off significantly next week. 
So we'll have to see exactly yeah. how this goes. I'm really hoping for a lot of rain. I'm looking out through the window here. We got lots of gray skies. We do. We do. <laughs> gray and skies. And Anne says morning. Great, Anne. Morning, Anne. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I have to look into why Facebook keeps doing that. I don't know. I, Apparently, I, we're still broadcasting. Yeah, we now, are. So. We are. <laughs> Even though no. it says no. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, oh, did you notice my new lower thirds I have down here, love? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I, I am now. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <coughs> Even though you know, I've I've been looking at it on and off throughout the show. Didn't they? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so anyway, let's let's hope this uh, like let's hope this hurricane gives us some decent rain. Um, Dave, we'll have to talk about this wood that you speak of. <laughs> <laughs> and Gina says yes, love fall. <laughs> Good stuff, but you know, anything below eighty degrees, she turns into a popsicle. So yeah, but at least <sighs> at least I can bundle up. It's unlike. Yeah, but you don't, and then you just. Uh, but like, I do. I do. But the but the thing <laughs> is, is is when it's summer and it gets too hot, you can only remove so many clothes. Yeah, once you're naked, you're kind of. <laughs> <laughs> At least in the winter, you can keep adding layers. This is true. This is true. You just have to actually do it uh, instead yeah. of saying, "I'm cool." <laughs> <laughs> like, put your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mario says, if you need firewood, just go near uh, Kaiba Kaibato. Sorry, I am horrible with, <laughs> with the local names. Um, and bring a chainsaw. Yeah, well, Same. you know, I, I agree with you. The thing is, um, the truck that I got to haul the wood is not exactly in a decent condition. And I don't have chainsaw because, well, we, it was Matt and I. We were using his chainsaw. I can't afford a chainsaw. I can barely afford to pay my bills. So we're working on it. Yeah, we are. It's on the list. It sounds like we may have a chainsaw, though, and you may have a partner. No, possibly. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to and, talk about this. And Anne says, I think y'all need more coffee. <laughs> yeah, I yes. know, right? Yes. <laughs> Tell you what, man. <laughs> So yeah, all kinds of exciting stuff. Lots of rain. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm really hoping for some serious downpours, man. That would be nice. I miss me some some good I know. some good storms. I know, and and I you know I I know we were talking about this um, last year when we started the company. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you want to do is go out when we do have the rainstorms and show the flash flooding and well, we've and done that several that times, which yeah. is really neat. But yeah, I just I miss. I miss, you know, like when I lived in Colorado or, or you know, and I've also, I've been down south in, in Arizona. Man, there are some epic, epic thunderstorms. There are. I miss me some thunderstorms, man. Here it's like, la, 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 la. And I'm like, no, come back. We need more. It never happens. Oh, it drives me crazy. Just saying. And, and, and you are, you are leaving out one major reason why you like these things. You let go f going four wheeling in them. Maybe, <laughs> but I can't do that anymore. Uh, I no, sold, you can't. <laughs> I sold the jeep so I could get equipment for LP and N. So there will not be four wheeling, but I will stand there and mournfully stare at it, going, "Ooh, look!" <laughs> and, so. and and Roxy does not have four wheel drive. Uh, yes, she is not a four wheel drive. Definitely vehicle. not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be the LP and N vehicle. Uh, yes, know. yes. But yeah. we like Roxy. <clears throat> yes, you know. and, and she's finally fixed again. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which had some is serious happy. issues with that, but <laughs> it's all fixed now. Yeah. Yes. Yay. That was another couple hundred bucks. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> that was just for the part. Did all the work myself. $200 worth of parts had to go in there to fix that sucker. <laughs> yeah, yep. No, it doesn't look like we stole it. Yep. <laughs> Now you're confusing people. I have no idea what we're talking about. This is true. So the ignition lock system in the steering column, where you put the key in, there's a mechanism that goes underneath the steering column to the ignition switch. Well, apparently in these vehicles, those things wear out. So when you try and turn the key, it doesn't actually transfer the motion to the ignition switch. The whole thing was just funky. So I had to pull the steering wheel or the steering column apart because it wouldn't start. So you have to grab the ignition switch on this side and the key on this side and turn them in opposite directions to actually turn the car on. <laughs> so it looks like you're stealing it because the steering column is <laughs> naked and you got to reach in and go Ch -ch 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 to make it work. And we've been that way for a few months. But we finally got uh, we finally got Paco's Tacos yes. as a sponsor. And because of that, I was able to buy the $200 part 
to replace all that. And the other day, I actually did it. I ripped it all apart, put the new one in. And how is it, Lois? Oh, it's beautiful. You can <laughs> stick the key in, and it starts. You don't have to do it. Everything back together. It doesn't look like a ghetto mobile or nothing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So yeah, I, that, that's how that and went. and I appreciate it and and you did a wonderful job on it and a rather quick job because we were oh, we were given it. some last minute notice about okay <laughs> hold on you're gonna ruin the whole thing so I'm in I'm in the vehicle and we actually had, there was a comment on this so the other day I'm in the vehicle I have the steering wheel off I have the steering column completely disassembled there ain't nothing go I mean. It's a naked stub coming out of the dash. <laughs> and uh, we, get, we get a notice that uh, from, from our messages from some of our viewers, they're like, hey, there's something going down at City Hall. There's all kinds of emergency vehicles. There's lights, you know. And it's crazy. What's going on? And we're like, uh, well, we haven't heard anything, but we'll definitely check into that. And so at the same time, at, what are you doing, Lois? I, I keep getting notifications of comments, but they're not coming through. Oh, okay. Way. All right, so, so we, you, what was it? Oh, yes, so shortly thereafter, we got a message from the police department, from Detective Tarik, actually. Yes. And he said, hey, we're doing some training exercises down at City Hall. Uh, we'd like you guys to come down. We'd talk about it and all that. And we're like, oh, yeah, that'll be cool. So Lois is like, yeah, we'll be right there. And I'm looking at this naked stump of a steering column sticking out of the dash, and I reach over, I grab the steering wheel, and I said, well, here you go, Lois, you can walk over there. <laughs> Just drive right on over. Was, this, the car ain't going anywhere. <laughs> it was a blonde moment. Yeah, she said, yeah, we'll be right there. I'm like, no, we won't. The car is disassembled. <laughs> you know? So I, I had this, I had this vision of you pulling like a Monty Python kind of thing. Oh no! Where you oh, start no. <laughs> running down the city hall, going vroom 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 with the steering wheel in your hands because I'm working on it. Instead of coconuts, of yeah. course. You got a steering wheel. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's epic. <laughs> and so I managed to get it together in like the next, what, 10, 15 minutes. I put everything back together, got it functioning, and we were able to get over there. And they let everybody know what was going on and talked to the police department. And, and they gave us a tour on what was going on and showed us some of their tactical training. Really cool stuff. We got Very. some neat photos. Yes. We did an interview. Good stuff. Very but, much. But the funniest yeah. part was, yeah, we'll be right there. And I just hand you the steering wheel. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> oh, the car's no. not moving. So, um, Mario says, yeah, they are expensive. Um, one of their vehicles was broken into and the ignition switch was like 200 bucks. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun. Not pleasant uh, no, at all. No. And I think the worst part of the installation of this thing, or removal of it, they have this oh, Hold bolt. on. I, I want to... Ford? <laughs> yes, Ford. Um, Hashtag... Um, Dumb beavers. <laughs> um, whoever designed this, really. I mean, just come on. really. <laughs> so I knew, I knew going into it, I was going to have to do this. But there's this. So you have the, you know, the ignition mechanism device that goes around the steering column, and it's got a metal bracket that goes across the top. And this metal bracket clamshells over and pinches on the other side, and then there's a bolt that goes through this clamp and holds it all together. This bolt is a security bolt. <laughs> and you're like, oh, what's a security bolt? Perhaps it takes a special bit. Normally, I would agree with you. I have a security bit set for just such an occasion. No, 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 no. This one is round and naked. It's just smooth. <laughs> um, and so one of the steps for taking this thing off is actually taking a saw blade or a cutoff wheel and cutting a slot in the top of this bolt so you can stick a flat or standard screwdriver in it, break it loose, and unscrew it. And by the way, if you take the car to the dealer, they have to do the same thing. Yeah. So there isn't a true special tool for it. Well, no, well, actually, no, uh, Liney said that there may be one that actually is designed specifically for that. But either way, you got to cut a slot in this thing uh -huh. to unscrew it from the column, and then... <laughs> Come on, Ford. I mean, really? <laughs> you know, if someone's going to take the time to go to all of these steps to do that, I mean, it just... Uh. <laughs> anyway, so that was exciting. 
I knew it was coming, but actually sitting there having to do it, I'm just like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I got a little saw blade, like, and you've got like this much throw, so you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of cut away until it's deep enough to get your screwdriver in there. You know, and the distance between that bolt and the top of the inside of the dashboard is actually slightly shorter than a normal flathead screwdriver, which makes it really exciting. It's just like, ugh. So, but it turned out okay either way. But it, it's one of those things that just, what? Oh, just no. Just no. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and jump into some of your stuff, Lois. Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. Let's go ahead and pull um, up some of this. Go ahead and pull oh. up the, the document I sent. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to oh. do, and oh, you okay. wiggled your finger like you had yeah, some yeah. kind of Sorry. seizure. So, so, last one. Oh. No, not second from the bottom. You know what? I'm going to stop asking, because it used to be funny. Uh, uh, and now you're, no, like, purposely... No. Oh, no? Not that one yet. All right. <laughs> this one came... Uh, scroll down. Oh. There you go. This one came across my um, <laughs> across my newsfeed. This is a uh, A like friend this. shared it, mm -hmm. and it is an, an Ask Reddit uh, topic. And the question is, if every celebrity had a name like Bill Nye the Science Guy, what would they be called? So, and, so famous celebrities that have something like Bill Nye the Science Guy. Uh, yeah. So you have Bill Nye and then whatever their extra name would be. And the top comment <laughs> was Jeffrey Dahmer the People Nomer. <laughs> Jeffrey think, Dahmer the People Nomer. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> that is freaking creepy but hilarious. It is. And, but it's accurate. I, I mean, know. really. <laughs> Who came up with it? Uh, I don't know. Jeffrey Dahmer the People Nomer. <laughs> and and um, one of the things I plan on doing is going to this um, Reddit stream wow. and finding a other See what else they've got. Do it uh, because I don't think this is just. I don't the think only you can top one. that. Though. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, and Gina says, at least you know what it will take, or at least you know it will take a lot to steal it. Not anymore. But anyway, <laughs> that's the thing, though. I mean, to get to the point where you would get to this, if they're that determined. That stupid thing ain't gonna slow him down. No. Just saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I saw this and I just died. Yeah, I, I, I just uh huh. Jeffrey and, Dollar, the and people. I Dollar. wonder. I wonder out of the younger generation that watches us, they have no if freaking they, idea. How many of them actually know <laughs> Jeffrey Dollar? What's that? Look it up. <laughs> That's going to be messy. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and scroll up. Um, I like that. That's good. It is. It is. Uh, we can. Can you, can you think of any that come to mind just off the top of your head? No, no. I'm not that creative yet. <laughs> my yeah, you have to sit there and think about that. Well, one, huh? my brain is still a little asleep, so. Your brain is always a little asleep. Uh, no, it's not. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, go to the one that you actually uh, clicked on. All right. All right. Let's now, see. we all have those. Or, or ha well, a lot of us have those dreams or fears that when we're in front of a group of people, we're really, <laughs> really gonna mess things up. I know I have that fear. <laughs> this oh, poor guy, man. he lived this fear. <laughs> so shall I read this this headline? <laughs> Go right ahead. You're right. You know, this is kind of like those the people. You know, you have the nightmare of where you end up. You know, you're naked in front of. A group of people it, or yes, something. Yes, yes. But this guy actually did this. <laughs> Professor accidentally plays hardcore porn for packed lecture hall. Whoops. Uh, oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it took a couple of minutes um, uh, for him to stop it because of the whole... Because <gasps> he was panicking, the hitting the right wrong here. buttons. And everyone's like... <laughs> That's oh, amazing. Now. And it was in a, it was in front oh, of a class of five hundred people, five hundred students. Oh, and the, the best part about this is, it's an intro psych class. An intro psych. Oh man, <laughs> there are just so. Oh, oh, he's a professor, but not just a professor of any kind. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a university professor was left red faced. After accidentally beaming porn through a lecture room projector for all his students to see. Now, my question <laughs> is, is why was that link there? <laughs> that it was that That's easy it. for him to do. <laughs> you know, if you're going to be doing 
Just say it. Oh, sorry, it wasn't in a couple of minutes. It was seconds, but it, oh, well, whatever. Forever. Anyway, if you're going to be using the your your laptop or your whatever whatever computer you're using to do, you know, some kind of presentation, I'd maybe separate that from your other side of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Might be safer. So, so this happened up in Toronto. Oh, in Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was University of Toronto's uh, Scarborough campus. And um, now, it, we're we're finding it hilarious. Oh, Regina yeah. says, big oops. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gina says also, oh, we know why it was there. <laughs> yeah, yes, here's yes, your intro we do. to psych. We're going to see who, who uh, um, <laughs> reacts and how they react. Um, and actually, <laughs> the university is offering counseling services what? for those who were affected by this. What kind of form was it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't counseling? Know. <laughs> Either that or the people that are running the school are like, oh no, these are the... Um, really? <laughs> Come on. If you need counseling after that, you, you, you know what? You, you need a little snowflake. It, it may depend on the type that it was. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Just, what kind of porn was it that I you need know. counseling afterwards? I, I don't want to know. But uh, I, I mean, there's that so many directions it, I could go with this. That makes it but even better that this was an intro to psych class. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I feel, I mean, I feel horrible for the guy because that is like a, a public speaker's Worst nightmare. Worst, and yeah, just no. <laughs> there, there are literally so many different directions I could go with this. I know there are. But I cannot because this is supposed to be at, at most PG-13. So uh, yes. I'm going to have to leave this <laughs> one alone. But I'm and, sure you guys can use your imagination. And Gina says, were their feelers hurt? I, I think <laughs> so. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and close this one. Oh, oh my no. goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, so boy. the one right above it. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. What do you got, Lois? Oh. What do you got? So my question is, is this guy talking about politicians? Oh. <laughs> 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 just saying. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, this is this is just odd. Okay. So this is a headline from uh, WRCB TV. Expert: Flatulence can blow out of your mouth if you don't let gas loose. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just can't. I can't, Lois. What have you done? What do you mean, what have I done? This came across uh, my newsfeed. I am reading headline here. This is a part of the sub -head headline here. Holding in a flatulent doesn't make it go away, a professor from New South Wales said. And they've got a picture of a gas mask <laughs> with a green toxic background. For this thing. <laughs> oh my god, so new research shows clenching your cheeks together won't get rid of the stinky issue. In fact, it may only leave the airy odor to leak out elsewhere. Nutrition and dietetics uh, professor from the University of Newcastle, Newcastle, New South Wales, Claire Collins, wrote an essay for the conversation explaining a new phenomena about gas. Holding in a flatulent doesn't make it go away, the self-proclaimed fart expert explained. Apparently, the gas can become reabsorbed into the bloodstream, which with nowhere else to go, will end up escaping out of your mouth. And actually, I have something to say about this. So if, if this flatulent, aka fart, goes back into your bloodstream, then don't you, in fact, get the bends from fart gas instead of nitrogen? I don't know. Just saying, it sounds I like a pressure loved, problem. I just loved the headline. It's amazing. <laughs> so apparently you can reabsorb your gas. So this is where stinky ideas come from. <laughs> <laughs> or brain farts. Yeah. <laughs> this is how brain farts happen. An expert has now told us how the process of brain farts work. 
Oh my goodness! And so Gina, um, about the the professor, yes. she says, "I don't feel horrible. He shouldn't be watching it. And if he does, he needs a separate laptop." Yes, that's what I was saying. A separate computer, <laughs> definitely, definitely. And Gina is going, "What?" <laughs> and this is where brain And then we have from. several different faces. <laughs> That there is a government joke in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Let your minds roam. Yeah, pretty much. Well, like I said, I, I'm wondering if, if, you know, if they're referring to politicians. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, they're talking, they're, they're talking and stuff's yeah. coming out. <laughs> uh, you know, you can't bring these headlines on. And just, uh, yes, uh, I can. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I wonder, so that you can get nitrogen narcosis from diving and having the nitrogen bubble up in your blood and yes. from the depths, you can get the bends. So I wonder if you can get flatulent narcosis. Probably. <laughs> Not sure. Um, but it also reminds me of, uh, I think we've talked about it before, a South Park episode mm -hmm. where... Um, oh, the spontaneous combustion? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they hold it in and then boom. <laughs> Right, and so, you know, the, the entire environment starts to die because they're not holding any in. <laughs> so, yeah. And it, this is an actual headline. It is from a real... Oh, man, that's funny. ...true news station. Oh, oh yeah. Brain it, parts not, now explain. Yeah, it's not The Onion or anything. It's not a satirical site. Um, that is funny. <laughs> you can't beat that, man. No, you, you can't beat can't. that. All right. All right, what else so, you got for us? Um, go to the next one up. This one? Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? You re did you read my little comment? No, I did not. It said, freedom! <laughs> well, like, like like Braveheart freedom? Uh, um, freedom! What the? Wow! Big Jesus! Holy oh, crow, yeah, there's a big X over there. <laughs> That's some ads for you. <laughs> now, this comes from my neck of the woods. California. You're yeah. actually admitting that now? Unfortunately. Freely? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so this is from California. Go figure. Here's the headline for you. 25 cows escape onto California road. Watch one lead police on a chase through a vineyard. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, and it <coughs> did. Um, this was actually just north of Stockton the other day. Um, and Wait, the, isn't that like torture you used to live? Uh huh. That's why I said my neck of the woods. Um, <laughs> and and um, what happened was there was an accident. Okay. And when somebody changed lanes, he hit the person who was actually hauling the cows. Oh, okay, and, okay. But the cows are okay. Um, well, except he, for the one getting chased down by the cops. Well, <laughs> Stop it, the name of the dog! Okay. The cars come... <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is none of them were injured. Um, then we know he, he, I bet you they tased it. He hit... No, they didn't. Uh, he hit the trailer hard enough that the doors opened. Oh, no! Uh, yeah, and so... <laughs> they just kind of wandered on out. The cows left the trailer. Who let and the cows was, up? Who? <laughs> and and this actually happened on on um, the the ninety nine highway ninety nine. That means absolutely nothing. Okay, to me it was done on a highway. Okay, which is a um, four lane highway. Okay, and so the cows went over to the frontage road, but they shut down the highway <laughs> because they didn't know where the cows were going. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and go ahead and scroll down <clears throat> the video I I watched. Excuse me. Yeah, it's a little down there. There we go. Okay. Um, the video is actually pretty funny because these poor cops, they're trying to be cow herder, cattle herders. Yeah, I, don't, I was going to say, I don't understand. So the cow's loose. It's in a vineyard, but it's a cow. So it's not really that big of a deal because it's now in a vineyard. Why would you not call somebody who's actually, like trained in this kind of thing. I mean, I, I can just imagine police chasing after a cow. It just, they did for the most part in their vehicles, not through the vineyard. I was going to say, <laughs> you know, if your justification was, well, it might ruin the vineyard, which is actually not the case most of the time, because it's only a single cow, then the driving through it would definitely do a lot more damage. Yes, it would. You know, I mean, did you, what? I got one of my hairs in my coffee. <laughs> So anyway, they let the cows out. Did you want to do this video? If you want, if oh, not, okay. we're okay. Well, no, um, we're I just thought it was funny because uh, you normally don't see that happening, at least on the interstate in California. Right. Um, right. On 
you know, frontage roads, that's a different story. The back back country roads. Yeah, but when you definitely. say Stockton, I don't really think of back country roads. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> Just uh-huh. saying. That's the least of my things, you know? Yeah. This is a jailbreak. Oh. Let's see. Um, Diana is asking, will odor eaters on the feet help? <laughs> <laughs> Gravity, you know? <laughs> and Dave says, your Burger King commands. <laughs> oh, um, your Burger King commands you halt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's it. That's pretty funny. So, yeah. Um, but it took a, a, quite a bit. Um, of time to uh, corral to wrangle the cow. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, so, can yeah. you imagine? You know, you get home from work that day, telling your family, "Like, what did you do today, honey? I chased cows through a vineyard." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, they, and you're in California I, in a big know, city, so it's they're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> you know, I, I I honestly think the cops wouldn't mind that conversation at yeah, all. I guess it could always be worse. <laughs> it could. It really could. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, it it took at least two two hours to uh, wrangle all the cows back. <laughs> well, at least all of them were okay. Yes, that yes. is a good thing. That is a good thing. Oh, David says rare beef and wine. Wine <laughs> yeah. sounds like a bunch of bull. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, um, one of the shots. It's funny he mentions that. Mm-hmm. One of the shots. It looks like they were um, Longhorn. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because <laughs> you can see. I mean, just <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would stay back too. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, no, stop. No. <laughs> yeah. I got enough time for like one more. All right. Go. All right. Go to the next one. Um, let's see. Come on. You can do it, Lois. You can do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The second one down. This one? Yeah. All right. So, now the headline isn't really what got me. Oh, no? The summary of it is what got me. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, this one here? Um, I, it, no. There's not even a pause button. It's just playing. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, that, oh, that's and, just... and you know what? Hold on. There's there's sound trying to come through. There we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Um, so the headline here, this is from the BBC. Dublin Airport plane chasing passenger charged. So he, it, So the black headline here? Uh, no. Oh, no. okay. Um, we said the sub so, headline. That would be the uh, No, I headline. said the summary. Oh, okay. Um, so what happened was this guy was missing his plane. So he's and, chasing down so a plane. So he's chasing down a plane. And it's natu- not a cab, dude. Uh, or a bus. Yeah. Um, so naturally... He's arrested. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's just tearing across the airport. Wait for me! No, oh. he wasn't on the air. He was well. He was at the airport, but he was actually on the tarmac. Well, that's what I meant. Uh, okay. You're chasing down an airplane. You're not going to do it inside the building. <laughs> so he's out on the run. So he, he was arrested and he was charged. And at his arraignment, this is the summary that got me. At his arraignment, they release him for another date and all of that fun stuff. As he's leaving the courthouse, he's hiding his face okay. behind a, a, a folder. Okay. And then he decides to moon the press. He moons the press? He the press. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was like, really, dude? <laughs> you're already in trouble and you're going to add to it? <laughs> hey, man, go big or go home. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. What on earth? So he's. He got busted doing that, and now he's mooning people. And now he's mooning the press. You get the indecent exposure and all that. Uh, fun no. stuff. You know what? Maybe he's from Scotland. I, I uh, maybe. Are you not getting the reference, Lois? Oh yeah. <laughs> Once again, from My, Braveheart. Man. Yes, Come on. yes. <laughs> Where they moon the English army. Uh, yes, yes. You know, and yeah. since it is in the UK, he could be from Scotland. <laughs> maybe it's just in his jeans. And it did that happen. are now around his ankles. But anyway. <laughs> And, and it did happen in Dublin. <laughs> you know, so oh, that's, man. I mean, it's not the same place, but... Well, I know, it's, it's, but it's an island. So it, it is, it is. <laughs> that is hilarious. But that, that right there, the exposed backside. Exposed backside, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they, they find him um, 178 pounds for being on the tarmac chasing. Okay, so 178 bucks <coughs> for being on the tarmac, and how much did they get him for for moving in the press? They haven't said yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he was here in the United States, he'd get fined, put in jail, and put on a sexual... Uh, the, the the watch thing, you know? The sexual... Uh, yeah. what, what is it? The, 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 
Blah, the sexual guy registry thing. Yeah. Yeah, he'd get all of those things. So his life would be over at this point. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <clears throat> so <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see what happens over there because there, a lot of their stuff is way worse than it is here. So the right. sexual offender registry. Uh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, I, I just found it hilarious that, you know, he's completely sober. And, and, he, mooning and he's mooning the press pool. He's got a smile on his face. He does. So he does. Apparently, he thinks it's funny. <laughs> I don't think the folder's blocking his face because he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that was actually after. Um, but yeah, I I saw that and I went, "You've got to be kidding me!" <laughs> he did what? <laughs> well, you know what? He was trying to keep his gas from boiling back into his bloodstream, <laughs> so he had to let it out. It was emergency decompression right there. <laughs> No. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, that's guys. Well, that's, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, don't forget, you're either part of the network or an enemy of the network. Show your loyalty and buy LPNN the shirt. You can go to Amazon.com and type in LPNN the shirt or LPNN the premium shirt and support Ooh. the cause and show your loyalty. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us. Thank yes, you for liking, you. commenting, and sharing. And we'll see you on the next one. Most definitely. Who's ready for some Rupert? I am. Rupert. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. <laughs>